We are sharing short stories from the mission field. I'm with my friend Miguel here. And uh, Miguel, why don't you share something that's happened to you in Colombia? Okay, uh, let me talk about the uh, a story that would help you understand uh, darkness, spiritual darkness. So one day uh, we were getting ready to start our service on Thursday night. And uh, this this man uh, just came in. He started coming in saying, praise God, praise God. You know, he was super excited. And I thought, man, we have a super excited person today for <laughs> service. So I was excited to uh, to meet him. And as soon as I went to him and started talking to him, I, he just kept on going, praise God, praise God. He wouldn't stop. And so um, I eventually realized something was going on. I also smelled uh, a strong odor coming from him. And it was the odor of alcohol. So this man was uh, clearly drunk, wasn't uh, really there in his senses. But I took this man, went downstairs to the office that we have and um, just uh, gave him a, a little bit of water because he wanted some water. And uh, I continued talking to him and I said, hey, how can we help you? Like, can you give me your name? He wouldn't give me his name. He said nothing. Uh, but then he said, OK, uh, help me. And he started saying, help me with this other voice. And I started thinking, yeah, I would love to help you, but tell me how to help. You. But he just kept going, praise God, praise God. And then he would switch on to saying, help me, help me. And so I said, okay. In my mind, I thought, you know, the only way I know how to help a person is with the Bible. Because <laughs> that's that's what we know. And so I sat him down and I said, let me show you what the Bible says. I was praying to God that he had a little bit of sense in him to understand what was going on. And so I gave him a Bible. We turned to the book of Romans and I started um, reading the Bible with him. But the moment we started reading the Bible together, this man looked at the Bible and he started laughing at what the Bible said. And it was a completely different voice. And so he started laughing at it, mocking it. And he was just going like a little kid saying, ha, 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 ha. And so I, at that moment, I understood something was going on with this man. And I remember the stories in the Bible about Jesus and the people that were possessed with demons. So I realized this man was possessed. Well, at that moment, I told this man, please don't mock the Bible. Please don't laugh. It can help you. Uh, Another voice came on and it says, I want to kill you, Look, looking at me. And so uh, this man had many demons inside of him. And that's just the reason why I tell you this story is because I want you to know how much spiritual darkness right. there is around the world. And God wants us to go as light to show them, uh, to shine brightly so that they can have freedom from that spiritual darkness. Amen. You know, the only thing that can penetrate the darkness is the light, right? And that's the light of Jesus Christ. We are the light of the world, but really the greater light is our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And if the gospel be hid, it's to hid from them that are lost. And um, we need representatives. We need gospel lights in every country around the world. God wants to use your life. You say, I'm not smart or I don't have a lot of education or money or talents or whatever. doesn't matter. We are, if you are a child of God, you have the light that is needed to penetrate the darkness that's out there. Would you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? Miguel, I appreciate your time yeah, today. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that story.